Hello and welcome to the basics of Tunisian crochet. I'm Sarah. In my last video I've shown you five different methods to increase within the row in Tunisian crochet. Just click on the small i above the screen to see the video if you're interested. Today I'm showing you how to increase on the right and left side of your work. Now to increase on the right side you find yourself right before starting a new row. In this case, I have worked uh, three rows in Tunisian simple stitch, starting from a foundation row. So what you need to do is to make a chain in the number of stitches given by the pattern you're following. Let's add one, two, three, four chain. What you do next is simply to pull up loops from the from this chain, just like you do at the beginning from the um, from a starting chain of stitches, just like in a foundation row. So you just insert the hook in the method in the place you prefer and start pulling up loops from there. So I have the first loop on the hook that counts as loop and stitch number one and then I will pull up loops from the remaining chains stitches so I have four now don't forget to work under this vertical bar the one we usually don't consider because it's usually right under the loop that's on the beginning uh, that's on the hook at the beginning but in this case we need to work it and we just keep on pulling up loops from uh, all vertical bars across until we reach the very last stitch which I will work in this way. So now I could proceed with a, a standard return pass but in this case, I would like to show you the increase at the left edge as well. So just like we did at the, re at the right side, we need to add stitches, but we cannot do it with a chain because with a chain, we would go up vertically while we need to increase horizontally. So the method we use is the so-called thumb cast on method. So if you have some notions of knitting, you probably already know what I'm talking about. So what I do is I use my thumb and I wrap the yarn around it like this. And then I insert the hook like this, grab the yarn and pull closed, the loop closed. So again, Wrap the yarn around it like that, wrap the yarn with the hook and let it slide like this. So in this case I have added two loops again thumb like this and with the hook I grab the yarn and let it slide like this. So one more time, thumb, yarn, I insert the hook here and let go of the yarn somehow. So and now I can finally proceed with my return pass, which I will do in a classic way by yarning over and pulling through the first loop only once then yarn over and pull through two loops together until the end of the row so which in this case also implies the beginning 
stitches we created with the right side increase okay so this is how it looks of course it curls but now we have our increases and how do we proceed from here very simply working in Tunisian simple stitch we have our vertical bars here very clearly so it's no problem for us to pull up loops from there and proceed with our work like this and now I want to show you what we do at the end which is the exact the exact same thing we just keep on pulling up loop, pulling up loops from the vertical bars we have here okay So it's important to try and keep the right tension to the left even though we used a different method to add stitches but I think with practice this will be easy okay and then we proceed as usual with our return pass okay There you go. As you see, it's very simple. Okay. And this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned for further tutorials on Tunisian crochet. Thank you again and bye bye.